Hello and welcome to the introduction to Microsoft Word 2007. Today we're going to create our first document in Word 2007. You'll start out by clicking the Start button and you'll probably have to go through your programs, then find Microsoft Office, and then find Microsoft Word 2007. Click on it to open the application. Word is a word processing application. It's used for creating letters, for essays, papers, anything with words in it. Now, if you've used Word before, it looks pretty similar, except for the top here. Well, the similar parts are these menu items up here. The new part is this area right here. This is called the ribbon. And it puts a lot of tools right at your fingertips. When you click on the menu items, it changes the ribbon. Today, we're only going to be working from the home ribbon. And some of the things you can do from the home ribbon are cut and paste. You can change the font. You can change the size of the font. You can change the text to bold, italic, or underline. You can change the color of the font. You can change the alignment of the font. And that's the first thing we're going to do here today. This is the left alignment. This is the center alignment. And this is the right alignment tool. We're going to start off with the center alignment tool. And we're going to type a title called My Intro. Because you're going to write an introduction to your, of yourself. And what we're going to do then is make it bold and underline. What you'll have to do is select the text. And you do that by clicking and dragging over top the text. Now, another new addition to Word 2007 is when you select text, you see a little ghost box appear above. If I move my mouse up to it, the ghost turns into a real box. And you can change the font, the size, and bold and underline right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make it bold. I don't see the underline tool here, so I could just come up here and turn it to underline. Do you notice that these have changed color? So you know that they are active. I'm going to click at the end of the title and then press the enter button to go down an extra line. You notice that bold, underline, and center is still active. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those all off. And then I'm going to go ahead and type my introduction very quickly. All right, there's my introduction. When you write your introduction, make sure that you only put one space in between each word. And at the end of a line, you just you don't press the enter key, you just let it keep on typing and it will automatically go to the next line at the end of a sentence, a period, should be followed by a space. Commas and other punctuation should also be followed by a space. If you want to create a new paragraph, then you press the Enter key, and it will make a new paragraph. In my class, we're not going to do indentation, so we'll just separate paragraphs with this space right here. Once you get done with your paragraph, the next thing to do is to save. Another new uh, look to 2007 is the addition of this Microsoft Office button. This is called the Office button. Press that, and it will show you the familiar things that you would find uh, under the menu of File in the old Microsoft Word. You can create new documents, open documents you've already created, save, save as, and print are all available on the Office button. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, or you can click Save As. It really doesn't matter. Now, here at Licking Heights, we do not save things to my documents. This is not where you're going to save. We have to click this button and look for your H drive. Here is my H drive right here. Save all of your documents to the H drive. Right? Uh, don't save it to my documents. The reason for it is if you don't save it on your H drive, I can't grade it. So this is very important. Click on that and make sure you get into your H drive. 
We're going to call this eJournal, so change the file name to eJournal, and then click Save. Well, that's about it for the introduction. Next time, we're going to be talking about more tools on Office 2000.